My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're starting this episode in our passenger stroke cargo station here at Revelstoke. And there's a reason for that, obviously. And the reason is I've had a little bit of a brainwave. Now, as we, as you may know, our town over here at West Bank and Kelowna this is the only machinery factory, I believe, on the map, or at least it's the only one that we have active at the moment. Now, Calgary, all the way over the Rocky Mountains, does have a requirement for machinery. Now, we do have this factory here, but I think running the goods into this factory would be a little difficult given its location. So what I was planning on doing is because we have a train that runs the goods from this depot here over into Revelstoke and because the goods train uses the boxcar wagon we could deliver the machinery into Revelstoke and drop it off here and then the goods delivery train could pick up the machinery and head it back into Calgary Likewise, the trains that come in here to drop off the machinery to be collected onwards towards Calgary could load up with some goods. Because over in British Columbia, we have Chase, we have Enderby, and I believe there is one more. Yes, Seymour Arm, all require goods. So that train, after dropping off the machinery, could come back, store the goods over here, for then onward shipment into Chase. Enderby and Seymour Arm. So let's see if that will work. So the first thing you want to do is get a line set up that's going to go from our cargo exchange at West Bank into Revelstoke. So let's try this shall we? So this is going to be taken hopefully machinery which is silver. So we want to go from West Bank and we're heading over into Revelstoke. And we want to make sure we kick, kick, and we don't want to kick it, we want to click the cargo station icon there. Now you want to be fully loaded over in West Bank. And you're only taking the machinery, but then when you come back, you're gonna be unloading the goods. Likewise at Revelstoke, you're loading goods and you're unloading machinery. We'll set a maximum time of, I think, just 30 seconds here. And we won't put a full load, just because we don't want to block this platform up for any other trains and lines that might be trying to come in, such as the bricks and the goods delivery line. So if there's anything there for them to take back, then they will take it. If not, they will head back empty, and then next time, hope that they'll have something there. So in terms of name, line, line, name, get it the right way around, this would be Goods Machinery, West Bank to West Bank Revelstone, because it runs both directions in theory. Now, I'm not sure if this will work. I think it will. It's the first time I've ever tried anything like this, so hopefully the mechanics do allow it. Has that just lost the line name? Let's see. No, it's kept the, kept the name. Okay, so that's okay. So now we can go ahead and buy a train for that. We may as well use this depot here. It's relatively close by. Locomotives. We, I think the Class 9000 would be a little bit overkill for this. So we'll stick to the Mikado. And you want boxcars, machinery and goods. So if we go for 180, and should we just have one? We'll go for two. Yeah, two. So we'll sign them to the line, like that. And then we want to select our goods freight train here. And we want to adjust this now, don't we? So over here, 30 seconds, yes, that's all good. But now you are loading machinery there, and then you're unloading it back in Calgary. And we just call this 
the goods machinery like we have with the other one and we'll keep it as Calgary Revelstoke we'll not adjust that in any way and then last thing we're going to need is over in Calgary is a road vehicle delivery from either of these two stations into northwest Calgary and northeast Calgary. Now I believe they both have a connection, they do, but given that we have more spare platforms over here it makes sense to use this one I think. So we want a new line again. So we're going from the Calgary Industrial Annex and then we want to or we may need to put down a bespoke unload station. Yes we do and I say we put it just there where it's somewhat out of the way so let's return to this line so we're going from there to there and you are doing a 30 second stop loading all and you are taking the machinery yep that's all fine so this is going to be a grey colour Now, why can I not see that on the map? Have I missed something here? It has a connection, that's for sure. Oh, I because I've got the filter icon on there. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's doing the right thing. It's looping around properly and then heading back out to the industrial park over here. However, ideally, we don't want it doing this. So can we send you out that way? Yes, we can, and that keeps it clean and tidy. So let's rename this. This is Machinery Delivery, and that is for Northwest Calgary. Perfect. Let's buy a few vehicles for this. Cargo vehicles. Shall we use the Fords? Yes, these are newly unlocked. What happened was I was doing a few signal upgrades and line upgrades between episodes and I forgot to pause the date progression. So we have unlocked the Ford Model 77s, but I haven't upgraded them yet. So we're still running primarily the Mac trucks or no the Benz trucks I think it is so we, we probably will upgrade to the Fords in this episode as well then it's done anyway let's get say 10 of those and these are grey and they're going on the machinery delivery to Northwest Calgary so now we can do the same again but for Northeast Calgary and once more, let's just see if we need to put down another unload point. I would say that we do. And I would say there is a decent enough location. So we turn to the line manager at the station. It's looping around quite nicely there. Let's just make sure it's looping around nicely over here. No, not really, but I think if we make you come in that way, not that way that way there you go no crossing over or turning around on platform there so usual sets up down here and you want to take machinery so we need the same color again find the line and rename it so that's machinery delivery for north east calgary not northwest there we go that's better right let's get some Fords on this one. Again, we'll go for 10. Give them the same colour. Where are they? North East Calgary. That's, you know, yes, North East, that's right. Now, hopefully, that will work as intended. In the meantime, we can upgrade the trucks because the Fords are superior. So let's go to our vehicle manager. We want road vehicles only. And let's scroll to the top. So all these are 
hauling bricks and nothing else. So these can be replaced with this one here which carries nine. So replace all those. Bricks production does carry stone as well, but so does this one, so we can use that one once again. The buses we can ignore for now. So scroll past the buses, here we go. Crude oil haulage. Yes, you take crude oil. The food delivery lines, I think they don't... I think they need the generic truck. Let's see. Yes, there's no food there, so they just need the tarpaulin. Fuel delivery, I'm not sure. Oh, no, yep, you can have the side stakes. Goods delivery. Let's see. You want the tarpaulin? Yes. The lumber haulage ones. Yes, they can have the side stakes. Machinery delivery for Armstrong. And for Kelowna. They want the tarpaulin. The two oil haulage ones can have side stakes but the plastics does need the tarp steel haulage side stakes and then tools delivery tarp hauling last of all wheat haulage is side stakes there we go so that's all our road cargo vehicles now upgraded as we can see Looks like they're carrying a garden shed on the back, but they're going to serve a purpose. Now, as we can see, we're quite stacked up on bricks on this line here, so it's probably a good idea to add more trucks to this. We only have six, so I think we'll double that to 12, just to make sure we don't waste any bricks over here. Likewise here, we're quite stacked up with food, and this is on the delivery line to southeast Calgary. We've got 28, I'll say we'll add another 6. Let's take that to 34. Again, just to make sure we don't start overflowing the platform. Now, let's see if all this has worked as intended. So, if we head over to West Bank, I don't think any of our trains will have made a pickup yet. Is that one of them? Or is that one? No, that's the food freight, so that's not what we want to be looking at here yes I'm guessing none of them have made a pickup or got this far but as we can see we do have machinery on two different platforms so it is ready to take it over to Revelstoke which says to me in theory it's going to work so that's great so what we'll do We'll leave that for now, and we'll come back and check on that a little bit later on. Now, to address a comment in the previous episode, it was pointed out that the airport shuttle trains, which are looking quite worse for wear as we can see, should be small in size, but more frequent. And as you can see here, I have reduced them from three carriages to one. We see one just departing there. Now, there aren't too many running down here. After all, it's only a short route between Enderby and Sycamus. I think I have four, one, two, three, four. So I have done that. And if we hop over to Calgary, I've done the same thing over there as well. So where are we? Here's the airport. So let's see if we can find an airport shuttle here. There's one, look. So the Southwest Calgary Airport Shuttle is now just a single unit, but we have multiple units running the line. I think there's two running that line. There's not too much pickup at the moment, so we don't need any more than that. Likewise, the shuttle out from Calgary, there it is, is now also a single unit rather than a three carriage locomotive. 
So that's something that I have done upon advice in the last episode. So thank you for that. We'll see how that works out for us. Speaking of the airport, what we could also do is we can connect a few of our other local towns into the airport to try and encourage more passenger generation out here. We have Calgary connected and we have South East Calgary connected. Now it wouldn't be too difficult to get out to say Pridis with a line as well. And in fact we could just share all of this line and we can double track this entire run and put in a short platform at Pridis for the airport shuttle because both of these terminals here oh no they're not both in use probably makes sense if they were both in use however let's just get the line view up make sure we're putting the right one on the right platform no other way around there we go so what we can do is out here at Pridis is put in a nice short platform and we can use this little bit here so that gives us a third platform very short but we're only going to have single units out here as with our other airport shuttle so it doesn't need to be too much larger than that and then this can connect in perhaps just down here somewhere where do we start double tracking all the way down there so we probably want to make that a little bit longer so if we have that connecting like so and then after the switch if we can find it there it is this is where we'll start running this now as double track all the way in towards Calgary so we'll just quickly delete that just pause it while we're doing this and we want to run that in there and then delete this little bit and extend this all the way through and in fact we'll extend it through the tunnel and then it can come off just like that so we're going to want some signals out here so we want a signal just there put in a passing signal not a passing signal a blocking signal there and a few more just along the way we have one there so let's double that up as we can see that's an old style one now if you weren't aware of this but if you want to upgrade your signals rather than get the bulldozer tool and delete the old one and put a new one down if you overlay them you can see it swaps to replace so you can just overlay and replace them like that it would be nice if there was a way to do it in bulk so to speak rather than one at a time but it certainly is making it a little bit faster doing it this way rather than having to bulldoze every signal and replace it manually so just in case you weren't to wear a little tip for you anyway there we go so now our train will come all the way out here and into and into the airport station so let's set that up quickly so we're going to be going from Pridis over here and we want platform yes platform number one in terms of color I think we'll have that blue color and you are coming out to the airport you can obviously well, you're gonna have to share a platform that's okay yep you're doing everything I would hope you would do brilliant that's fantastic so let's find this line line one and this will be airport shuttle Pridis Calgary can't remember what I called my other airport shuttle lines but that's the one that's what this is having right so let's get a train now I think we'll just use this depot here so we want multi units M300 again we'll have it as a single wagon single locomotive but we'll have maybe say four of them in total so we'll color them 
the blue so they match up with the line color and assign them there. I've misspelled Pritis on the line manager. It's a double D, so I'll change that. There we go. Now we can close that down. And while I've got it open here, I'll just keep the name in theme the same for all. So that's an Airport Shuttle Calgary. Airport Shuttle Pritis Calgary. And this will be Airport Shuttle Southwest Calgary. There we go. So that's another town now connected to the airport. So we'll hopefully start seeing a few more passengers. As we can see, we're getting a few. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. It's about six. Yes. We have some waiting for the train into Calgary as well. So hopefully they've just disembarked from a recent plane that has just landed in the not too distant past. Let's quickly head back over into British Columbia see how the machinery production is coming along let's look okay, here it is so I don't think we've had a pickup yet just because of how much is waiting on the, the platform now you've not picked up and if we go to train 101 you haven't picked up either although you're on your way in now so hopefully soon so at the moment we don't have much waiting on the station. Now I'm guessing that's because of a resource shortage, which you can see we've got plenty of steel, but we are struggling on planks. Now we just had an, a delivery of planks there, yes we have. And as you can see we've got trucks waiting to haul them over. However we might want to add a few more on, how many do we have? We have 12. I think we'll go for 16 and I think what we'll also do is take a look at the train so you're carrying 180 and there are two of you how many planks do we have waiting at the station up here okay we have a lot okay now as we can see this platform has an intermix of bricks and planks i think it's probably going to be better if we avoid that so what we'll do because we have four lines coming in here we have logs coming in we have stone coming in we have bricks going out and we have planks going out we don't want the two to run into each other so what i mean is we don't want the stone train which is just arrived here as we can see to be held up by the bricks train so the bricks train will share a platform with the logging train and the planks train will share a platform with the stone freight train if you follow my logic then see what i'm getting at so what we'll do logging freight on platform one therefore we want the bricks freight onto terminal one as well stone freight and lumber freight on platform two there we go now i did notice there weren't a lot of stone or there wasn't a lot of stone on that train that just arrived is that a production problem over at the quarry perhaps it is perhaps we've oversaturated it with the length of the train we do have two of them so perhaps for now we only need one let's just see what happens in the future with that however so back to the planks freight then so we have two trains running and they each carry 180 how close is the next arrival let's have a look so you are just on your way in, that's train 78, so train 77, you're on your way back, and I'd say you're not even halfway there yet. So 
so it might be an issue with spacing there and as they space themselves out a little further around the line then we should have a better or more balanced throughput of planks down here but again that's something we'll just keep half an eye on as the game progresses so there's our good stroke machinery train it's picked up the first load of goods now I'm guessing that's the first one I don't think we've had the other one arrive yet now here it comes now as we can also see on this steel train again we have a few empty wagons so where is our steel mill it's all the way over here what's holding things up over here I think it's just the production speed but as we can see it is in the process of leveling up I do believe the sawmill was also leveling up as well yes it was it has now leveled up so now that these are kicking up into higher level those trains should start running with either complete full capacity or at least much higher capacity than they were just a few moments ago so so far so good in terms of our next moves I'd like to see some more growth in the four districts of Calgary and Calgary itself because it would be nice if these would spread and merge into one mega city so I think what we'll do is we'll see if we can bump these numbers up in terms of the food and bricks and whatever it, whatever else it is that they require for growth just to see if we can't get that extra expansion and that quicker expansion because as we can see the skyline is starting to take shape in these cities got a few high rises springing up the center of Calgary is looking quite impressive now with all the high rises as well but it's still quite a concentrated city and it would be nice to see it spread outwards and start melding in with some of the others in the nearby area after all, that's what we saw on the Coventry map, where the likes of Coventry and Bridport all spread out quite massively. And they were, in fact, I think it was Coventry and Bridport were almost touching. So it was like Bridport was just a small conurbation of Coventry. I'd like to have something similar here. So have all four of these start touching central Calgary and give it that huge city you feel that obviously the map creator clearly had in mind so that's something we can do in the future i have upgraded all the tracks to high speed but i haven't yet upgraded all the signals a lot of them have been obviously i picked the wrong one there because they haven't but uh, yeah i did make a start on upgrading some signals as we can see in and around this station there are some electronic signals replacing the old semaphores so i still need to do that uh, get that completed but that's going to take time because there are a lot of signals on the map and that's why i say having a bulk upgrade option would be quite nice but i suppose that's for the future or for a modder if it's at all possible so i think while this might be a reasonably short episode or shorter than normal we're going to leave it here for now now the reason it's been a little bit shorter and also it's taken a few days longer than i would normally like to get this episode released is because once again i found myself on 12 hour night shifts so finding the time and the energy to record is a uh, a bit of a challenge this week uh, there might be well, there will be one more video this week, but that will be RimWorld. There probably won't be any more other than RimWorld and this one for this week, because I'm away this weekend at a friend's wedding, so I won't have time from Friday onwards to do any more videos. But then the following week, so starting from Monday, I have a week off work, so plenty of time to catch up and get back into the more regular schedule of one video at least every day or at worst every two days so i hope you enjoyed this quick episode not a great deal was done let's be honest but that test i tried there with splitting a train load halfway along its route and 
having another train pick it up to finish the route seems to have worked so that's all good if you do have any other comments and suggestions let me know uh, obviously I took on board the suggestion about splitting down the airport shuttle trains to a single locomotive and just having more of them I think that's a good idea so I've done that I think in the near future I might look at adding more flights to our airline route we only have four at the minute and they can be few and far between so that leaves our passengers hanging around for quite a while in between flights so that might be something to do in the future as well but for now all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen you take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now <laughs>